Joining us this morning to talk about some of the Super Bowl oh, ads yeah. this morning is our good friend, CEO of Evoke Advertising, Larry Metter. Hi, Larry. Hey, Great Larry. To have it's you. good to Thanks see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming back. Okay. Let's do it. So we're going to talk about three ads Let's that were really popular uh, last night, and we're going to start with uh, J Lo and Ben Affleck. This was the Duncan ad. So let's go ahead and roll that. Do I look familiar? Oh. Should I be in it, or do you want to just do self portrait? What are you doing here? Curse me if I'm Is this what you do when you say you want to work all day? I, I gotta go, guys. Oh, we cut off the best line at the end. Grab me a glaze. Grab me a glaze on your way out. That was cute. What did you think of it? I liked it. I thought that, uh, you know, Ben seems to be kind of the wild card in that relationship. But, but people say, well, he's the stable one. But in here, <laughs> it just looked like he was done. He had had it. And he's just making coffee. Yeah, like he did at the Grammys, right? When yes. he became a meme. That's <laughs> yes. Because of his yes. expressions, right? That's it. I thought that one was only OK. It wasn't like one of my favorites, yeah. right? Yeah. But I want to ask you about this one, because I know Steve Martin, who I absolutely love, he started in a Pepsi commercial, so let's take a look at that. We'll get your reaction on the other side. I'm Steve Martin. As an actor, it's my job to make people believe that what they're seeing is real. But it's not real. It's acting. Wow! It's fantastic! Or was I just acting? So what does that mean? Did he not like it? Or... <laughs> That's their job, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, so what'd you think? I thought it was really good. Yeah. So I liked him, and he, there was another one with uh, Martin Short. Or yes. Was it? Was it and Ben Stiller. And Ben Stiller, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And I thought it was really good that, you know, you're seeing a lot of these really big celebrities that are coming out doing the roles that, you know, that they may have been famous for, a lot of nostalgia, and I think it was really good. I, I, I liked it a lot. I yeah. liked it a lot. And we condensed that Steve Martin ad down quite a bit, but there were some, he had some really great moments great throughout. Yeah, yeah, it was little, cute. Little trailers mm -hmm. coming up cute. for him. It really mm -hmm. yes. up. It was a lot of anticipation. Yeah. a good spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, last last ad we're going to show you is the T-Mobile ad. This is Bradley Cooper and his mom. Take Aww. a look. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, I don't like the way you look. <laughs> Does T-Mobile really have a 5G? America's largest 5G network. Yeah. Try it again. Oh, my God. You look like a flamingo in this. Okay. Yeah. This ad is it seemed to, whether it was or not, seemed to be outtakes from sure. the shoot, right? Sure. But you also remember that it's for T Mobile. It's very right. clear what the ad's for. Oh, there's a lot of brand going on. Yeah, there. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got the bright pink shirt. Well, he's got the pink. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there you yes. Go. There's our T-Mobile yeah, It's funny, I was going through all the spots, and yeah. I marked this at the bottom. I'm like, this is one of my least favorite Why? spots. Why? Really? But my wife loved it. See, I loved it. What didn't, why didn't you like it? I don't it? know. I think all the guys, we see Bradley Cooper as, you know, the guy we want to be in the Hangover movies. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right. Cool guy. Yeah. And here he is in his hot pink shirt with his mom. <laughs> I know. I don't know. But my wife's so like, oh, she... See, and the reason your wife loved it yeah. is because it made him endearing. Because he was in this yes. commercial. With, with his, his mother. mother. I'm sure That's the fact that he's right? gorgeous had nothing at well, all to do with it. I didn't like his hair. I didn't like his You liked it? I, I thought it was a hair. little messy. Maybe oh, no, a little no. calm. But, but you remember T-Mobile. I do. I remember Bradley um, Cooper. Yes. And yes. Your mom. <laughs> exactly. I want to just mention this because I think it's, uh, Ryan had mentioned his favorite ad last night was the Will Ferrell EV, sure. right? With the EV ad, which is a great ad. But I told Ryan at the end of it, I said, what was, who was the ad for? And you said, right. it's for GM. GM. But it wasn't, I didn't think clear. Yeah, I think you're right. But it wasn't. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, but that's, I think that's the point, that's right? The point. But oftentimes advertisers do that, and we think, well, yeah. gosh, they spent all that money, yeah. and we weren't sure who was. Well, for. that's why the production quality, you know, the production that they're putting into it's three million dollars a spot, and they're putting mm. sometimes mm. more than that mm. in the production. But because the spots have great cinematography and great actors, they're shared so many times that they can hint to who the advertiser is because you're going to watch it so many yeah. times. Very quickly, before we let you go, what was your favorite? Oh my goodness, I like the dog one. I'm sorry, I'm always liking dogs. <laughs> the one where the girl, I forget what it was for, but it was See? It was for the dog one where she grew up with the dog and oh. it was a farmer, farmer's dog. Okay, okay. Farmer's, farmer's dog. dog. Oh, which is the, yeah. the uh, it's you like the brand the you dogs. can buy the dog food, right? Like yeah. chicken kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go look that one up because I missed really it. Good. Larry Matter. We are Evo's advertising. Thanks for being here.